Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about the summation notation or yung tinatawag natin sigma notation. This topic or this video is part of our series with regards to the pre-calculus. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now guys, before we start discussing the summation notation and the sigma notation, uh, let me clarify first what is the difference between the sequence and a series. Let's say for example, we have this kind of thing. 2, 5, 8, 11, 13. This one is your sequence. It is a number pattern with a pattern as sinusunod. And each term of the sequence is separated by the comma. While your series, when you say series, we're just adding up the terms of a sequence. Let's say for example, we have 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 13. I'm doing this because um, many students are confused with the type, with the sequence and the series. And itong series natin, is connected with our discussion which is summation notation or the sigma notation. So let me raise this part. Pag sinabi natin summation notation or kapag nakita natin yung symbol na to, this symbol is a Greek symbol called the sigma, capital letter sigma, in which, ang ibig sabihin nito guys, we need to sum up something or we need to sum or we need to add something. And Summation notation or sigma notation is one way on how to shorten how you write a series. Okay? Now, we have here again, this one is the sigma letter, a Greek alphabet letter, capitalized letter. Meron tayo itong summation notation na pag-uusapan natin different parts niya. Siyempre, this is your symbol, the sigma symbol. Or the sigma letter, and this expression here in our summation notation is your summon. At the expression na ginagamit natin para makapag-generate tayo ng isang series, or mag-add tayo, gagamit natin itong expression ito, which is 2n minus y. Next part meron tayo, this variable n, your n, or the letter n, is your index. Ito naman yung letters natin na kasama sa ating summon in which we will evaluate it. This number 1, in the lower part of the sigma, is your lower limit. O yung iba, tawag nila dito ay lower bound. While the 3 at the top of the sigma letter is your upper limit. or upper bound. Now, ano purpose or ano difference ng lower sa kanya upper? Yung lower natin, uh, when we evaluate or expand the given summation notation, ito, we will start with the value of n, which is 1, or the value of our index, which is 1. That is the lower limit or the lower bound. While yung upper limit naman natin or yung upper bound natin, that is the end point. Yan yung huling value ng variable or ng index na gagamitin natin in expanding or evaluating the given summation notation. So, para mas maintindihan nyo, yung ibig sabihin ko sa lower limit, upper limit, and yung pag-expand and evaluating a summation notation, let's have this examples. Expand and evaluate if possible. And number one, we have here the summation of n squared. from 1 to 4. Again, summation of n squared from 1 to 4. Now, for us to expand and evaluate this summation notation, what you will do is 
you will copy this one n squared plus n squared plus n squared plus n squared. Pero hindi na natin papahaba yung discussion natin. Instead of doing that, ito yung gagawin natin. As you can see, our sum or our expression here is n squared. What you will do, since the lower limit or lower bound is n is equal to 1, we will start replacing n. Again, we will start replacing n by 1. Remember, ha? The lower limit is from 1 up to 4. So, the next part here is plus. Because summation na, di ba? Sum. Sum. We need to add. Plus. The next number after 1 is 2. So, this is 2 squared. And then plus. The next number after 1, 2 is 3. We have 3 squared. And lastly, our upper limit or upper bound, which is 4. So, the, the end part of our series is plus 4 squared. So we started with 1 and we end up with 4. But we're not yet done. We're done expanding it. Again, we're done expanding the summation notation. So I need to evaluate. By evaluating it, you need to simplify. So this is 1 squared is equal to 1, 2 squared is equal to 4, 3 squared is equal to 9, and your 4 squared is 16. All in all, when we evaluate the summation notation, we have 1 plus 4, which is 5, plus 9, which is 14, okay? Again, 14 plus 16, this will give us the answer of 30. So the answer for the first example is 30. Again, the evaluated form of the given summation notation is 30. Now let's move on with item number 2. The summation of 2n minus 1 of any integer n starting from 1 to 3. So what you will do, first you need to expand it give, given or using this expression or summon 2 times replacing n by 1. We will start with 1. Again, we will start with 1. So 2 times 1 minus 1. So this is our first expression. Next, plus. First pa lang yan, eh? Next naman natin is 2. So we will replace n by 2. That is 2 times 2 minus 1. And lastly, our upper bound, which is 3. This is plus 2 times replacing n by 3 times 3 minus 1. And then, since we are done with the 3, we can simplify this. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1, that will give you 1. Plus, 2 times 3 is 4, minus 1, this will give you the answer of 3. Plus, 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 1, this will give us 5. Now, to evaluate the summation, ito na. We need to sum this up, add this up. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 plus 8, this will give us the answer of 9. So the answer for item number 2 is simply 9. Again, next, these are the expanded form, and ito naman yung evaluated form. Okay? Now let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, we have here the summation of 2i plus 3 of any value of i, which is 2 up to 4. Now, as you can see, guys, Hindi lang variable n ang possible na maging index. Any variable is possible. You can use i like this. You can use any letter of the alphabet. Okay? So let's start with this one. Expand ba na natin? Yung ating lower limit, we will start with 2. So this is 2 times 2. We're replacing i by 2 plus 3. Plus, hanggang 4 tayo ah. Ang next natin is 2, ay 3. So this is times 2 times 3 plus 3 plus 2 times 4 plus 3. And we will stop here because the upper bound or the upper limit is 4. And it's time for us to simplify. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3, that is 7. Plus, 
2 times 3 which is 6 plus 3 that is 9. Then 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 that is 11. And to evaluate, we need to add this um, 7 plus 9 which is 16 plus 11 will give us the answer of 27. But anyway guys, I hope now you learned something from this video on uh, the use of summation notation, the different parts of the summation notation, as well as expanding and evaluating summation notation or sigma notation. Now guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at the hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marang marang salamat. Bye! -bye.